Hello, AACPS staff. In this short video, we're going to talk a little bit about the email notification options in Classroom. This is the area that you can customize when you click on your hamburger menu here in the upper left and scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose settings here. So after you choose settings, what you come to is a page that is almost entirely dedicated to choosing the notifications that you might want to see. So right here under the heading notifications, it has the option for receiving email notifications and by default, this will be turned on. If you don't want any email notifications from Classroom at all, ever about anything, what you're going to want to do is come here, click that slider, and turn it off. You're done. You don't even have to click a Save button. You will not get any emails from Classroom about any activity going on. However, there are some great ways to customize your notifications so that you only get emails about the things that you want to. So in this video, we're going to kind of unpack some of the things that you can choose to be notified about. So let's take a look at the headings that come underneath of the notifications option there. You can be notified about comments, you can be notified about classes that you're enrolled in, meaning you're a student, and you can choose to be notified about classes that you teach where you're the teacher or a co-teacher in the class. So let's go through each of these, starting with this comments area here. You can choose to be notified anytime somebody comments on a post that you make or they reply to something that you have posted anywhere in the classroom. The second option there is comments that mention you. So if somebody uses the at symbol and then types in your email address after that or uses the plus sign from their keyboard and then types in your email after that, that would actually mention you as a part of their comment. And if you had that one turned on, generate an email to you as a part of that. The third option there is private comments on work. Now notice that doesn't say private comments on your work, it's just private comments on work, meaning that this is also a great option for the teacher in a class. If I'm the teacher and I make a private comment on a student's work, if they reply to my comment, I would get an email because I have private comments on work turned on. That way it signals me that maybe that student has asked a follow-up question about my comment and they really need me to respond to that follow-up question before they can finish making whatever changes I might have asked for in my initial comment. So let's move on to that second heading there, classes that you're enrolled in. Again, this is for students. Now remember our students don't have emails, so they don't need to come here and customize this. But if you are a student in a class, these are the things that you can be notified about. Work and other posts from the teacher. So anytime the teacher posts something in the class, the student would get an email. Returned work with grades from your teacher. If you are ever engaged in any sort of um, digital learning opportunity where the platform being used is classroom, you might want to know when your instructor has returned something for you or given you a grade on something. Uh, invitations to join a class as a student and lastly due date reminders of your work. So if you have something upcoming due, you would get an email from that. Let's turn our attention there to that last heading, which is classes you teach. You can be notified if a student submits something late. This may be important if you have policies about uh, points being deducted after due dates, or if you want to contact a student who's maybe been um, a little bit uh, consistent in turning things in late recently. Resubmissions of student work. If you have any concerns about students unsubmitting their work and continuing continuing to work on it after the due date, Note, being notified when they resubmit something can help you keep track of what your students are doing. You can be notified if you are invited to co-teach a class. And then lastly, if you schedule a post to go out at a later time. So let's say I schedule my assignment to be posted at 3 o'clock this afternoon. If that scheduled post fails to go out at 3 o'clock, I can be notified about that. So those are your options for classes that you teach and classes you're enrolled in as well as any comments. Let's turn our attention to this last heading down here at the bottom. That is class notifications. And it says that we can turn email and mobile notifications on and off for particular classes. And over here on the right hand side, there's just this little drop down arrow here. So we're going to click on that. And what's going to pop out is every single class that I either teach 
or that I'm a student in. These are just all of my classes. And notice I have individual sliders for each of these. Now I can't customize the specific notifications that I want for each of my classes, but I can choose to turn on notifications only for the classes that I want to be notified about. What notifications am I going to receive? Well, that's dependent on what I chose up here. So the fact that I only have this one class turned on, this Google Drive and Classroom for Elementary turned on, means this is the only class that I'm going to receive notifications about. And these are the things that I'm going to receive those notifications for. So if you have, let's say, four or five classes in which you're the teacher and you have students in them, but maybe you're also enrolled in a Google Classroom for your PLC, Maybe you're enrolled for your IDT team, your grade level team. Maybe you are taking an evening course where Google Classroom is being used. You can come down to this bottom portion of this settings area and turn on and off notifications for classes that you might not want to see and only focus on the ones that you really do want to see notifications for. So I hope this helps you guys understand better how to manage the notifications that you're getting from your Google Classroom.